God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is Prophet West. I feel an anointing to prophesy. I speak life to you right now. I speak life to your body. I speak life to your spirit. I speak life to your every step. I speak to every step that you take be blessed. I speak that blessings come in your hand. I speak that on tomorrow, on tomorrow, a new thing is going to happen to your life. I speak on tomorrow, your healing is going to wake up with you. I speak tomorrow, new things are going to open up to you. Understand it's going to open up. I speak even on tomorrow, uh, joy is going to come again. I speak on tomorrow, God's going to give you a revelation of who he is in a greater way. I speak even on tomorrow, great things are in your life. Great things are, are coming to you. Things that what you were lost, things that seemed like it that went away, they, they, they were lost. They were lost from a situation they were lost from pain they were lost from a bad decision whatever it was that was lost i speak and i declare and i can see them coming back again i speak that everything that was lost that was worth getting back is coming back some stuff ain't coming back some stuff don't belong to you some stuff god did it god did a favor for you see some of you some of you let me explain this to you. some of you you went through some some situation you went through some heartbreak and in this heartbreak you think it's the devil you think it's the devil that did this thing that caused you to be separated from this person that caused you to be separated from this people but it wasn't the devil it was God God gave you a Passover while you in your pain while you're hurting and while you upset and sad and mad at the situation and going in your mind and saying that I could have done something different I could have said something different but God did it see because God sees down the road see because in that situation that God broke and God calls the end see God saw down the road of peace there was going to be trouble down the road of peace your heart would be broken and so because of that God gave you a Passover and so whoever I'm speaking to right now God said begin to celebrate and thank God for his Passover see because God said in his word that when I see the blood I will pass over you and some of you the reason why God passed over you your grandmas your grandma's mama they've been praying for you God hand is upon your life you are chosen there's some of you you're chosen that's why you can't do what other people do that's why you can't say what other people say you get caught you get caught up. You get caught up. And so that's why God's hand is upon you because there is a light upon you. There's a mark. God has a mark on you and it's his glory. God has a mark upon you and it says that you are chosen. You belong to him. His name is upon you, which means that you will and you shall hit the target. You shall do what God has called you to do, even though you're in a place where it doesn't seem like you're going to fulfill your purpose. You're going to not fulfill what God has called you to be or what God has called you to become. But listen to this. David said that he was so confident in God that he said that if I laid my bed in hell, oh lord i knew i know you would be there see god is in that situation in that bad situation see but god created and orchestrated this situation that you might launch from your power from your pain from your turmoil what is doing is like a fuel that goes into a spaceship that's about to launch and the clock is ticking 10 9 8 and once it hits 1 it will detonate and launch off see the clock is ticking on your life the clock is ticking on the purpose that God has designed for you there's a timetable that God has allotted for what you're in and what he has for you the clock is ticking you're about to launch you're about to expand you're about to explode you're about to go up you're about to arise so trust God and stay right there God got gotcha, you, God got gotcha. you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Greatness is upon you. Joy is upon you. Wisdom is upon you. Around the corner. Matter of fact, God said around the corner. Around the corner. There is something that's waiting on you that's good. Around the corner. So stay, keep walking. The direction you're walking in. The vocation you're walking in. God said don't turn to the right. Don't turn to the left, but keep walking because you're going to walk into a greater place. You're going to walk into your wisdom. You're going to walk into your breakthrough. You're going to walk into your love. You're going to walk into your new assignment. You're going to walk into your authority. Just keep walking. Keep walking and see things are going to keep talking to you because the purpose of those things that keep talking to you is to get you distracted. See, the absent wants you to look to the right, look to the left, but God wants you to keep talking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking forward because the sound, there's a sound of his glory that's calling you higher. There's a sound of his glory. Glory. And I can see it now. His glory. I can 
can see his glory is like a, 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 a fog. His glory is like a bright light. It's like a bright light in a fog and it's calling you. It's calling you to come in. It's drawing you closer. And, and the closer you get to his glory, the closer you get to his voice, the more things are falling off you. I see, I see weights falling off you. I see discouragement falling off you. I see generational curse falling off you. I, I, I see hurt falling off you. I see, I see pride falling off you. I see bitterness falling off you. I, I see rejection falling off you, but I see joy coming. I see wisdom coming. I see a breakthrough coming. I see miracles coming. I see joy coming. I see might coming. I see strength coming. I see confidence coming. Hear me and hear me well. This is your day. Hear me.